you so guys you need to watch it till to the end in order to understand the concepts of accounting okay so let discuss about the accounting first we will talk about accounting okay guys what is accounting company what happened in a company a lot of transactions happen on daily basis okay a lot of transactions happen on daily basis and these transactions generate a lot of bills vouchers and invoices these transactions are based on bills vouchers and invoices and then these transactions generate a lot of data in a company so guys uh, being accountant what we do being accountant we record the data classify the data and finally summarize the data into meaningful format okay let discuss how we summarize the data into meaningful format and why we summarize the data into meaningful format okay why we summarize data in data into meaningful format because it makes sense to the user of financial information so guys uh, why we summarize our data into meaningful format so that it makes sense to the user of financial information so that they understand it and make their decisions accordingly so who are the user of financial information they are divided into two categories okay one is internal user and second is external users okay people who are within organization they call internal users like owners managers and employees so when our information is generated when it converted into meaningful form format the internal users use this information how they use it if he is owner he will see whether he should invest more money into new projects or not whether his company is providing satisfactory profit or not and whether he should go for more projections or not such decisions are taken by the owners or, or investors okay and if the person is manager he will see whether he should hire more employees or not whether the product is making more sales or not and such decisions are taken by the managers by watching the by seeing the financial results okay so this so the conversion of raw data into meaningful format is so necessary because users have required that data and they could understand it when it is converted into meaningful format okay guys what kind of decisions are taken by employees like if company is not making consistent profit and if their assets are not uh, up to the mark employees may decide to left the company and join someone else okay so such decisions are taken by internal users let discuss about external users and how they use our financial results and financial information like if he is supplier he supply goods on credit he will see whether he should provide more goods on credit or not he will look at our balance sheet and see how much money we on here before okay whether will be able will this company be able to uh, pay back or not in the future so such decisions are taken by supplier whether he should provide more goods on credit or not if he is lender he will uh, decide whether he should uh, lend more money to this company or not uh if our assets are stronger than our liabilities then may he decide to lend us more and such decisions are taken by the lenders okay then in the same way tax authorities also use our, our financial results and they see whether we provided tax accurately or not so such decisions are taken by these users so how much it is necessary that our raw data should be converted into meaningful format if it is converted into meaningful format then they can use it and then they can make constructive decisions on the basis of their data okay so guys we discussed about why we convert data into meaningful format now we will look at how we can convert that raw data into meaningful format okay we discussed why we convert and now we will look at how we convert that raw data 
that vouchers, bills, invoices into meaningful format so that it could understandable to the user of financial information. So guys, let's discuss how we convert that data into meaningful format. Okay. We convert that data into meaningful format through income statement or balance sheet. Okay. Through income statement or balance sheet. Let's discuss what income statement actually tell, tell us. When we talk about income statement, income statement tell us about the performance of the business. For example, it consists on sales expenses and finally profit okay and these and this profit is for a specific period so income statement tell us about the performance of the business okay now let's discuss about the balance sheet guys balance sheet tell us about the position of the business for example is it consists on assets liabilities and equity of a business and this data is historic data that's why balance sheet tell us about the position of the business okay through these two statements a user of financial information make too many constructive decisions okay whether these decisions are related to investment or lending money and etc okay so let repeat it again what actually we do in accounting we convert raw data into meaningful format and on the basis of that meaningful formatted data uh, decisions makers make their decisions okay the, and these decisions could, could be related to investing more money in the business or it could be related to lending more money to the business or it could be related to providing more goods on credit or not so such decisions are taken by the user of financial information okay oh guys let's uh, discuss about the elements of accounting okay we have just five elements and it's nothing more to understand okay if we understand these five elements whole accounting will be piece of cake for us okay if we understand these five elements of accounting whole accounting will be like a piece of cake for us okay now let's discuss each of elements here first we talk about asset what is asset yes assets are resources which own and controlled by an entity and that results from past event which future benefit are expected okay so what is asset asset is resources which are owned by entity and controlled by entity what does this mean by own and controlled by entity what we understand understood through the definition of accounting it is not necessary that asset should be the ownership of the company asset could be controlled by the company like if we take an asset in through lease then we will not have ownership of that asset okay we just will we will just control that asset we understood that assets are something which own and controlled by entity that results from past past event okay what does this mean past event mean that in the past we may purchased it in the past may owner has invested money in the cash or owner has taken some liabilities from the lenders so these two sources has increased our assets or these two resources become the cause of our assets okay so anything any resource that benefit us in the future called asset okay like if i pay salary in advance to employee that salary will be called as asset why i call it as asset because that employee will give services in the future so the benefit will be expected in the future so that salary will be called as asset okay so in the same way if i paid rent in advance so i will take benefit in the future so the paid amount will be called as asset why because so far i have not taken benefit in it is expected that i will take benefit in the future so the paid rent uh, amount will called as asset so what we understood here we understood that assets are something 
which benefit us in the future okay now we will discuss about expense what is expense expense is the cost of operation that a company incurred during operation from which no future benefit is expected okay so what is expense expense is cost for a company okay for generating revenue we must consume our resources okay for generating revenue we do operations and during our operations we consume our assets so the consumed amount of assets called expenses and from that consumed amount we have no benefit in the future so that consumed amount called expenses okay so what is the difference between asset and expenses assets give uh, future benefit and there is no future benefit ex expected from the expenses okay like if i paid salary to an employee for the uh, previous month so that salary will be called as expense why because i taken services from that employee here before okay here before i have taken services so employee will not render more services against that paid amount in the same way if i paid rent paid rent uh, for the previous month that paid amount will also called as expense why because i have already taken the benefit against that paid amount of rent so what is the difference between assets and expenses assets assets will benefit us in the future and expenses from expenses there is no future benefit as expected for example if a company has cash it is its asset and it has paid salary to one of his employee 50, uh, 40000 and whatever amount has consumed from the asset so what is the remaining amount remaining amount is 50000 less 40000 remaining amount is 4 lakh 60000 so whatever has consumed here that consumed amount called expenses so this was the earlier balance uh, of a company the earlier balance of the company was 5 lakh and out of which company has paid salary to one of his employee 40000 so asset has consumed with 40000 with the amount of 40000 okay and the remaining amount is 4 lakh 60000 so the consumed amount is our expenses and the remaining amount called our assets okay so guys previously we have studied that assets are something that company own but now the definition has revised for example many time we put machineries furnitures on lease basis so that lease item will also called as asset okay so guys let's discuss about the another element of accounting that is liability what is liability and how it is generated okay guys liability is present obligation of the company that that will outflow an asset of the company in the future and it is result from the past event okay so what we know about obligation what do we know about liability liability is present obligation okay for example in the past if i purchased goods on credit and if i taken loan from the bank so such events has created liability so now whatever i did in the past it is in present it become a obligation for us now for settling this liability we must outflow our asset okay so in order to eliminate this obligation we must have to uh, outflow our asset okay so when we out, when we will outflow our asset that asset will decrease our obligation for example when i will pay to the lender or supplier then that payment will outflow my asset and that payment will it will decrease the amount of liability so what is liability liability is present obligation but it this present obligation is resulted from the past event okay in the past i did purchases in the past i have taken loans from the bank so such events such such uh, consequences has created 
some obligations and liability on the business so businesses of to pay others okay businesses of to pay others so it is outside claim whatever assets we held it is the outside claim on our total assets so let's understand this uh, liability more clearly here so guys uh, like we have the so guys the question of accounting is assets equal to liabilities plus capital for example in assets we have five cows okay so out of these five cows i purchase two cows through liabilities and three cows from my own invested capital so on this five on this five cows two are being claimed by the outsiders okay two are claims by the outsiders because i have taken some loans and i have purchased some cows through these this source so because i taken these two cows from liability source okay so it is the claim of outsider on my total asset okay so what is this this is a claim of our outsider from our total liability so total assets okay so these three cows are claimed by the owner but these two cows are claimed by the outsider so whatever assets we hold we have two sources to finance those assets okay one source is liability and second source is owner capital okay liability is outsider claim on our total asset outsider claim on our total asset here the claim is for two cows okay guys when we talk about the equation of the accounting when some former in italy decided to record uh, whatever they hold in their uh, farm houses so what they did they what they did they re started recording their cows so, so first they uh, recorded their cows and then eventually after a few years they decided they should record the source of cows that they hold like it is not necessary the cows they hold they own it maybe they purchase those cow from taking a uh, loan from others from taking uh, some money from others so what they did where they decided to record the sources of their assets how many cows they purchase from their own sources and how many cows they have purchased from the other sources okay so what they did they said that whatever they purchase from other sources they call it as liability and what whatever they purchase from their own sources they will call it as capital or on the equity so this is how the accounting equation has generated okay so what we understood here we understood that here that the sum of liabilities and equity must be equal to the sum of our total assets because this two because this total assets has generated from two sources one is liability and second is capital okay when we will decrease our liabilities they eventually decrease uh, our assets when we will decrease our equity or capital it will eventually decrease our assets so there is a association between our assets and liabilities plus capital okay all right guys let's discuss about the fourth element of accounting that is capital or equity what is capital capital is the amount which is invested by the owner okay it is the claim or residual interest of the owner after deducting all liabilities what this mean residual interest this mean that whenever a business go for liquidation or shutdown when it will sell its all assets they will pay first to their creditors okay first they will pay to their liability holders and whatever left after payment to liability holders that amount will be paid to the owners or claim uh, or people whose claim is second okay so what residual mean residual mean first we will pay amount to all obligation holders okay first we will pay all amount to 
liability holders so whatever left after that then we pay that amount to the to our owners of the business okay so what is this is what the difference is between uh, outsider and owners so outsider has first claim on our assets because we pay them first whenever a business go for liquidations okay so and the second claim on our asset is uh, owners and investors okay then we pay to stockholders after payment all after making all payment to our liability holders so this is what the difference is between uh, outsiders or owners the amount which is injected by the owners in the business called capital okay the amount which is injected by the owners in the business it is called capital so we and we have two sources to increase our assets one is liabilities and second is capital if owner bring money into the business this will increase our assets and if owner take some liabilities from outsiders this will also increase our assets so this is how our assets are associated with with these both okay oh yes yeah, let's discuss about the fifth element of accounting which is revenue so the fifth element of accounting is revenue what is revenue revenue is inflow of cash or receivable during the ordinary course of a business like uh, when we made sell to our customers and when we provide services to our customer that will generate some revenue they can pay us on the same time but they may promise us to pay in the future so the amount which we uh, receive in the future called receivable okay what is receivable the amount we, which we will receive in the future and others are owed to pay us in the future that amount called receivable okay so revenue could be in the form of cash or it could be in the form of receivable that amount which we will receive in the future so revenue are generated from many sources like selling products or providing services rendering services okay so like uh, if it is hospital uh, or it is airline services then they will not provide sir, uh, product they will just provide services and against that they will generate some revenue and on the other hand it, it if it, if it is manufacturing firm they will sell their product and against that they will generate revenue so revenue is what revenue is the amount that inflow uh during the ordinary course of operation of a business so guys hopefully this was a nice session for you all and in the future we will come back with the new videos